Good morning, everybody. Okay, so today we are heading to the Buffalo River, uh, which is right outside of uh, Waynesboro, Tennessee. We're going to meet my son, TJ, his fiance, Felicia, our grandbabies, uh, Zach and Kaylin. We're going to let them play in the river for a little while. Of course, Cornbread wants to do some fishing. Let's head out and go have a little fun for the day, okay? <laughs> everybody okay so today we are at the Buffalo River um, in Tennessee look at this bad boy that I got and I'm so anxious to try it out it is a black stone grill and I'm fixing to show y'all how to season it okay so we have it on high we're letting the griddle uh, get really hot uh, you do not want to season it the first time by cooking bacon on it or your hamburgers. You're going to do this more like a uh, cast iron skillet that you have to put oil on and then you bake it in your oven for several uh, hours. Because if you just put bacon fat and you cook bacon on it, it doesn't seal it. And then whenever you go to store this, it's going to put little spots all over it. It's going to rust it and then it's going to start chipping off. So you have to make sure you season this really good before you use it the first time. So I have a little bit of oil. Like I said, this is on really hot. I'm going to dip it in there. I'm going to pour just a little and then you're going to just see how it turned colors. That's what you want. You want this whole grill. Now you don't want a whole lot of oil, but you want to make sure you coat every inch of this. And pour just a little more and you don't want the oil uh, pulling on it you're coating it okay so let's make sure we get every piece of this grill just like those old cast iron skillets you want it seasoned very well okay and you do this till all the oil is soaked up I'm gonna let the grill get hot again and then we're gonna do it again. I'm gonna wait maybe about a minute and then we'll do it one more time, okay? So now we're gonna do our second coat. And like I said, you're just gonna pour a little more oil on it. We're gonna rub it all over it again. And you can tell that it's changing colors. See the difference in the color? And you're going to do up to four, you can do five coats, but we're going to do four coats of it, okay? All right, so now we're going to do the third coat. Like I said, you're not using a whole lot of oil because you don't want it just pulling everywhere and just rub it in. And if it smokes, that's okay. That's what it's supposed to do. Alright, so for the fourth time, we're going to season it one more time, but I want to explain something. If you see right here in the middle, you can tell where the heat is concentrated under it, and you can tell that this is seasoning really well, and the outer edges aren't seasoning quite as well as the middle section. I think it's because the wind is blowing pretty bad today, so it goes up under here, and it's kind of causing the fire not to be evenly distributed. So what I'm going to do is, because I got a grill today, and we're grilling some hamburgers on it, uh, once we get back home, and I can uh, kind of have an enclosed area where the wind's not blowing, I'm going to clean it real good, and I'm going to finish seasoning it so that because I want all of this outer edges here to be just as sealed as this uh, middle section is sometimes you need to make your life a little bit easier so go ahead and buy those patties that are already made when you're you know out barbecuing um, and I'm anxious to use this so let's get these bad boys on this grill Ooh. Okay, so I'm going to put a little seasoning on them. I have a little bitty uh, smoked mesquite. Let's put that on there. This is one of my favorite seasonings. I love this. A 
and then of course I have just a little bit of uh, salt and pepper which doesn't take very much okay because you already have that mesquite smoke flavoring and I want just a little salt and pepper on them now the key to a good burger is that don't flip it until the other side is cooked then once the other side is cooked then you can flip it because it's going to stick to the grill and then it just makes a mess so I'm going to close this up Ooh, look how good those are looking. They're not quite ready to turn over, but they are looking delicious. Woo. Let's close that back up. Okay, so I think these burgers are ready to flip. Ooh, look at that, man. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, yes, perfect. Wow. Can you see that sizzling going on? Woo. Now, once I get these flipped, I'll season the other side of them because you've seen we seasoned one side, but we haven't seasoned the other side. Oof, that one don't want to turn. That looks absolutely wonderful. I'll get them spaced back out once I get them all flipped over. How about that? Oof. Let me get them lined back up. Okay, let's put a little bit of that mesquite seasoning on this side. And just a tad bit of salt and pepper. Not much. Whew. All right, let's close our grill back up and get this other side cooked. Let's check these burgers out. Oh, they are looking good. They're not done, but they are starting to. Oof! Can you smell? Smell a vision. <laughs> Ooh. Looking nice. Make sure we're not burning any of them. All right, I think they're done. Let's get these plated and let's eat. Ooh. Get them off that grill. Oh man. I cannot wait to try some of these. Whew. Oh. Look at that. Whew. Man. Come on. Yeah. There you go. Right? One. Hmm. So what you think? Delicious. It's good. Oh yeah, <laughs> perfect. it's perfect. Well done. Delicious. Think, okay. Delicious. <laughs> this is really good. I didn't even tell you to take a bite. <laughs> He's already, already ate half of these. Okay. <laughs> Same. Okay, so um, when you're done cooking, obviously, obviously you have to uh, clean your grill. So that's what this little scraper is for, and you're just gonna scrape it. And you're going to put it into your little grease trap back here until it's clean. Let it cool off before you uh, can pack it, okay? Okay, so this morning we were at the Buffalo River and Cornbread tried to fish a little bit but got caught up in playing with the kiddos. So on our way home this afternoon we decided to uh, stop here at Mouse Tail Landing and do a little fishing and I have a couple of uh, hamburger patties left from today so I'm going to grill those up for me and him and we're going to see if we can catch some fish. You hear that searing?
I don't know if you can tell, but I'm sitting in a swing, <laughs> swinging right now. Uh, Mouse Tail is just like one of my favorite spots to come and sit uh, overlooking the water and just relax, you know. Whether you come out here for 30 minutes or you come out here for, you know, a couple of hours to enjoy, you know, the river. It's just absolutely beautiful, you know. It's my happy place. <laughs> I caught one. It's too small though, so he's gonna go back. But uh, I found a good spot next to this cypress tree. So we'll be back over here. So this one's going back in. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for today. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so. Any comments, if you will leave them below, I will get back to you as soon as possible. And thank you for watching. Have a great day. I'm going to eat this burger now. <laughs>